When SpaceX and Blue Origin were founded around the same time, many people thought Blue Origin would give SpaceX a real run for their money. But the reality has turned out quite differently. While SpaceX is taking over the industry with rapid innovation, Blue Origin is still trying to catch up, often by replicating SpaceX's projects, and it's not working out as planned. In today's video, we'll dive into why Blue Origin's approach hasn't matched SpaceX's success. But before we delve any deeper, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on major developments in the space industry. Both companies were founded by billionaires, SpaceX by Musk and Blue Origin by Jeff Bezos. Musk and Bezos were already known for their successful businesses before stepping into the space industry. Musk co-founded PayPal and Tesla, while Bezos built Amazon into a global e-commerce powerhouse. However, when it comes to space, SpaceX was the first to move and Blue Origin has often seemed to follow. Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 with a specific goal in mind, to reduce the costs of space travel, make rockets reusable, and eventually make life possible on other planets. SpaceX quickly began developing rockets, pushing forward at a fast pace with a startup mentality, working on projects like the Falcon 1 and later the Falcon 9. Blue Origin, on the other hand, was founded in 2000 by Jeff Bezos, but it didn't start developing rockets right away. For years, Blue Origin operated quietly, conducting research without the urgency or public attention that SpaceX generated. While Bezos envisioned a future where humanity could live and work in space, Blue Origin didn't move quickly on that vision. In fact, it wasn't until SpaceX started making significant advancements that Blue Origin really began to ramp up its own space efforts. SpaceX was the first to make real progress with reusable rockets. In 2015, they successfully landed the Falcon 9 booster, making them the first company to reuse a rocket for multiple missions. This made SpaceX the go-to company for launching satellites and cargo. In response, Blue Origin developed New Shepard, a reusable rocket for suborbital tourism. While New Shepard demonstrated vertical landing, similar to Falcon 9, it was limited to short suborbital flights. Meanwhile, SpaceX was already moving forward with more complex orbital launches. The rivalry continued into satellite internet. In 2019, SpaceX launched its Starlink project, aiming to build a network of satellites to provide global internet coverage. Starlink has already launched thousands of satellites and begun offering services in various regions. Not long after, Amazon announced Project Kuiper, a similar initiative led by Bezos to provide internet through a satellite constellation. However, Kuiper is still in the development phase, with its first satellites yet to be launched, while Starlink is already operational. Again, when SpaceX announced its plans for Starship, a fully reusable rocket system designed to carry heavy payloads and eventually support missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, Blue Origin soon followed with its own large rocket project, New Glenn. Starship quickly became central to SpaceX's efforts, with an aggressive development and testing plan. Blue Origin's New Glenn was also designed for heavy lift capabilities to bring large payloads to orbit. However, while SpaceX has advanced through a series of test flights, New Glenn has faced a series of delays and technical setbacks. SpaceX started testing Starship in 2019, following an approach that involved rapid prototyping and regular test flights to identify issues and refine the design. In April 2023, SpaceX launched its first integrated Starship system, making it the most powerful rocket ever flown. Although the test ended early due to a malfunction, it was a significant step in Starship's development. By the fifth flight on October 13th, SpaceX achieved a major milestone with Starship by successfully catching the Super Heavy booster with a mechanical arm. The Super Heavy booster, with 33 Raptor engines, demonstrated the capability to lift over 150 metric tons into orbit, more than any other operational rocket. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's new Glenn has faced delays from both technical challenges and external factors. Initially, Blue Origin aimed to launch New Glenn by 2020, but issues pushed the target to late 2022. After losing a major Pentagon contract in 2021, Blue Origin had to extend the development timeline again. 
Setbacks continued, including a factory mishap in 2024 that caused damage to part of the rocket, further delaying progress. Blue Origin finally moved the first stage of New Glenn to its Florida launch pad in late 2024, indicating progress, though an exact launch date is still uncertain. SpaceX and Blue Origin have pursued different paths in the space industry, but Blue Origin has frequently ended up in the headlines more for setbacks and legal battles than for successful achievements. One of the more high-profile issues that highlighted the difference between the two companies was a legal battle. In 2021, Blue Origin filed a lawsuit against NASA after it awarded a lunar lander contract to SpaceX as part of the Artemis program. Blue Origin argued that NASA's decision was flawed and unfair, claiming that NASA improperly evaluated the proposals and unfairly favored SpaceX's bid. However, a U.S. federal judge ruled against Blue Origin, siding with NASA's decision and allowing SpaceX to proceed with developing its lunar lander. Financially, Blue Origin has also faced significant constraints. Jeff Bezos admitted in 2017 that he had to inject around $1 billion of his personal funds annually into the company to keep it afloat. Despite Bezos's massive wealth, Blue Origin's slow development and high expenses have required ongoing financial support. This situation contrasts sharply with SpaceX, which has generated substantial revenue from its Starlink satellite internet service, commercial launches, and contracts with NASA and other government agencies. While SpaceX has worked toward self-sufficiency, Blue Origin has continued to rely heavily on Bezos's personal finances, highlighting its struggle to achieve a sustainable business model. It seems like Blue Origin has finally realized how they are being left behind in the space race. They are now reportedly looking to acquire United Launch Alliance, one of the most established players in the aerospace sector. United Launch Alliance has long been a reliable provider for critical U.S. government missions, including national security and defense launches. However, in recent years, ULA has struggled financially due to high operational costs and increasing competition from more innovative players like SpaceX. ULA's recent project, the Vulcan Centaur rocket, has faced repeated delays, affecting its ability to compete for new contracts and putting additional financial strain on the company. With development costs rising and government contract revenue under pressure, ULA has been at a crossroads, leading Boeing and Lockheed Martin to consider selling their stakes in the company. Blue Origin's potential acquisition of ULA would give it immediate access to a strong network of government clients and a more established launch system, helping it address its current limitations in scaling up operations. In August 2024, reports indicated that the deal was valued between $2 billion and $3 billion. This valuation reflects ULA's declining profitability, which has decreased from approximately $650 million in 2016 to about $80 million in 2023, primarily due to competition from SpaceX and the transition to the Vulcan rocket. While SpaceX continues to lead in the space industry and Blue Origin is working to improve its business position, Boeing is reportedly considering selling its Starliner program. The Starliner spacecraft was developed as part of NASA's commercial crew program, aimed at providing an additional vehicle to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. However, the program has faced extensive technical challenges and delays that have led to significant financial losses for Boeing. Recently, Boeing reported a further $250 million charge related to Starliner in the third quarter of 2024, bringing its total losses on the program to nearly $1.9 billion. Boeing's new CEO, who took over in August 2024, is reassessing Boeing's business areas to focus on core strengths and improve financial performance. As part of this review, Boeing is reportedly exploring the possibility of selling parts of its space division, with the Starliner program and International Space Station support operations being likely candidates for divestment. That's all for today's video. Make sure to subscribe for future updates on the space industry, and we hope to see you in the next one.